They hate when you elevate They stacking up losses, I'm handing them out, yeah, I had to go delegate It feel like I'm floating, I'm lost in the moment, I swear I could levitate So guys, I'm back at HEB And I only got one thing, one thing in mind today Especially after that scare I had earlier today When I woke up with them bumps and different colors all over my body I got one thing in mind today that one thing I got in mind is just doing a cooking video for you guys, man. That's it. All I want to do is a cooking video. Something just, uh, you know. So today, I'm going to be doing a stuffed redfish or a stuffed catfish. But I'm going to try to find like the biggest one I can find. That redfish, man, I don't know what it is about that redfish. That sucker is expensive as hell. But I'm going to really go find this fish real quick. I just got to the seafood area. And I'm not even gonna waste my time trying to find a fish that I'm really looking for, which is a perch. They just don't have the perch, man. God, look at the size of these uh, shrimp, man. Look at the size of these bad boys. Them bad boys is hitting. I never did the whole shrimp before. I've never actually did this before. I don't know, man. Comment down below if you guys want me to do a video where I'm actually cooking whole shrimp. Again, I've never did this ever. But while I'm here, I might as well see if they got, you know what? I know that they don't have perch. So I'm not even gonna waste my time even looking for perch. But since I'm here, I might as well just look anyway. I said I wasn't, but what if they have it and I bypass it and wish that I would have looked? I don't think they have it, man. They got a huge uh, seafood area here as usual. But I'm only interested in doing, whoa, look at the size of that salmon. I'm really only just looking for the, uh, the uh what do you call that thing the redfish i know where it's at but i want to just look for a second in case i miss the opportunity to get that perch i've been looking for and you guys know that's been watching my channel how long i've been trying to find red perch and i'm so desperate for perch i will even take a white perch fish and i said if i find it anywhere i'm buying all of it because it's hard to find perch in this freaking state man i don't know what it is Let's go over here to this little thing right here. Any perch up in there? No perch. They got every fish under the sun. I don't know if it's like Texas is just allergic to perch or they're not messing with perch like that. Oh, I almost thought that was it, but that's red snapper. Even though I'm getting a red snapper, I'm getting the one that's fresh, that's not frozen. Because the frozen one, to me, is not fresh. I want that fresh boy. And I still don't see it, man. I still don't see it. Hey, what's up? Check this out, y'all. I actually found the raw shrimp. I mean, like the whole shrimp that's not frozen. I never really seen them unfrozen. These are them ones, them bad boys. So this is the ones that got the head on them and everything. I did like a lot of seafood muck things, but I don't think I ever did a seafood muck thing where they actually had like a raw shrimp in them. Then they got the tilapia with the fresh cuts in it. You can get tilapia anywhere, man. Like it's not even a really excited, exotic, exotic, uh, exotic, exciting fish to me anymore because to me, it's nothing exciting about tilapia. So <sighs> we're gonna go on over to the other fish area, guys. Let's see. Y'all see, they got the deli. No perch, no perch, no, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What is that right there? Let me find out. Oh, that's rainbow trout. I'm not messing with nobody rainbow trout. I'm, oh my God, this must be shrimp season, bro. Look at all these shrimps, man, with all the heads on them. Hey, you guys got perch? Perch fish? I already know, I already see. I told you guys, man, nobody in, in Texas has perch. I don't know what that's about. But I'm gonna go over here, man, and check out this red fish, man. See what's up. Oh my God. Could y'all imagine me cooking one of them bad boys right there? Look at the size of that. Yo, what's up, cuz? Man, that's an Asian carp right there. I know what that is, man. That's a nasty Asian carp. What's up, cuz? What's up, cuz? Huh? What up with you, cuz? Anyway, this is what I'm looking for. This is more of my speed right here. I'm gonna get one of these uh, redfish, and one of these things probably gonna cost about 40 bucks. Yo. I, I want to get one of these fish right here, one of these red ones. Like, are they clean or is it guts inside of them? Oh, it is guts in them? Oh, okay. 
Y'all gonna keep the head on it? Huh? Can we keep the head on it? Okay. Yeah, I wanna keep the head on it, but it don't got no guts inside, right? So, man, I'm finna get the fish with the head on it, man. I ain't gonna lie. Pick this out, guys. That's crazy. Look at this fish selection they got here, man. This is, they got a huge fish selection. But I'm gonna go with one of these today, guys, that actually has the head on it. I'm gonna get the one with the head on it. These is the ones, this fish right here is expensive as hell. This is the red snapper. So this is, guys, this is 12, oh, so he's this, first one. this is $12.97 a pound, almost $13 a pound, bro. So I'm gonna get one with the head on it. I've never cooked, I don't think I've ever cooked a fish with the, with the head on it. So I'm gonna try today, see what's up. So if this guy able to help me out. I had to stop the video because a few people had, you know, came up. So I, I want to get one of these red fish, please. These are red snapper, correct? No, snapper. No. Oh, what kind of fish is this? Red huh? Red tilapia. Oh, this is red tilapia. Yeah. No, I want that red snapper. Oh God, I didn't know. I've never heard of a red tilapia, guys. This is actually a red tilapia. Never heard of a red tilapia. I didn't know that even existed. So anyway. Oh. This fish probably gonna be about, bro, this fish gonna be about a hundred bucks right here. What's up, cuz? What up, cuz? How you doing, cuz? $37. Uh, $37. Uh, $37? All right, bet. Yeah, yeah. Let me get that. Yo, we finna go home and cook this bad boy. I said the fish would be between $50 and $100. It's actually $37. So, oh my God. Huh? Uh, I don't want anything done to it. I'm gonna cook that bad boy to what? Can they clean some more of them guts out of it though? Oh. Like open it up a little bit more? Scales. Oh yeah, definitely take the scales off. Oh, thanks man, yeah, yeah. Definitely take the scales off. Yo, I almost got caught slipping. So the red snapper that I just got, man, it has the scales and everything on it. So I'm gonna have all the scales taken off of it. I'm gonna have the middle cut open a little bit more so they can pull a little bit more of those guts out of it. I actually thought that the scales was off the fish and that it was all ready to go home and clean off and then just uh, cook. So apparently they got to do more stuff to it. So he's over there getting it hooked up right now. He getting it hooked up right now for you, boy. But yo, check this out, man. I was so wrong. This is, I guess it makes sense. Here's the regular tilapia fish right here. And this is the red tilapia. I actually thought it was regular red snapper fish sitting next to this tilapia so i guess i was wrong anyway let's go down here while well, he's he's actually fixing my fish up but i'm gonna go home and fix it up a different way catfish heads bro you know how many fish i cleaned in my life and threw all the heads away i didn't know that you can eat the head of a fish look at this man boy they not wasting no part of the meat like i said in recent videos a fish don't have a chance in the freaking world bro fish ain't got no chance at all yeah, I mean, so listen guys, I'm gonna shut this off until I get home and get my little chef outfit on, put my little chef hat on and get all ready for this video. Cause I've been telling you guys I'm gonna bring you a cooking video and I haven't wronged it. So today I'm gonna bring you a cooking video. I'm not for sure if I'm gonna bake this fish or fry this fish. This bad boy is big, so he might be going in the oven. So I think that's what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna try to find something to actually dress the fish with, some type of stuff that I can stuff inside the fish. So who knows, I may just stuff some shrimp inside that bad boy. So I'm gonna see you guys when I get to the spot. Deuce. Okay guys, I'm back home now. I have this monster fish sitting in my sink and it looks like the fish still has some work to get done to it. As you guys seen in an earlier clip, um, I actually thought that the fish didn't have scales on it until the guy had asked me what all I want him to do to the fish. So in this video, I let him keep the head on the fish. I'm gonna cook the fish with the head on it. And we have the total price of this fish was a grand total of $37.55. This fish is $12 and it looks like $12.89 a pound. Oh, I'm sorry. It's $12.97 a pound. We just rounded off 13 bucks. And it is just under three pounds. That's with the head on it. I actually expected this fish to weigh a whole lot more than that. 
So I actually got me a knife here so I could finish like re-going over the scales and everything and make sure they got all the scales off of it. While I was at the store, I went ahead and bought this huge oversized pan and the fish is actually still too big for this pan. So I may have to cut, I may cut it down or I may not, but I'm gonna be using lemon pepper seasoning for this fish, regular table salt and black pepper. Um, I might have some seafood boil in one of the cabinets that I may be using to actually uh, help assist me with the seasoning this bad boy. But I'll show you guys the insides of this thing. Oh yeah, so we still got some work to do. I'm actually gonna do the little work off of camera and finish getting the fish dressed up nice and pretty so I can get it cleaned off really good before I actually put it in the pan. I actually have my oven preheated to 350. I'm not gonna fry this particular fish. I'm gonna actually uh, bake this today in the oven. And I'm thinking about um, if I got some shrimps in the freezer, I'm not 100% sure if I got shrimp, but once the fish gets halfway done, I'm gonna actually open the fish up and put shrimp inside of the fish and line it with shrimp. Um, and just make it like double the seafood. So fish, uh, this red fish is from the ocean. Shrimp is from the ocean. So we're gonna go ahead and do ocean and ocean. Ocean red snapper and ocean shrimp. So I'm gonna finish getting this bad boy cleaned up and I'm gonna see you guys shortly. So right now, all we're doing is just going over to make sure that they dig get all of the scales off the fish. And once I make sure, I'm gonna go ahead and um, make sure that I make sure I got all the insides of the guts out of the fish. I'm gonna be making these little cuts in the fish too to make it easier for the fish to actually bake all the way through so that way I don't have to worry about the possibility of the fish still being raw in some areas of the fish. Now, I said I was gonna put the shrimp inside of the fish, but I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna align the fish, the little cuts that I'm gonna make right here, I'm actually going to align the, uh, the uh, cuts of the fish with shrimp instead of putting the uh, shrimp on the inside of the fish which will actually make it look a little bit more appetizing. I don't think it's gonna change the taste of the fish, but it definitely will make it look a little bit more appetizing. I accidentally had hot water on. Don't wanna run hot water on a fish. I'm just gonna clean all of this nasty stuff out of here. They did a fairly good job with dressing the fish and stuff, but I still wanted to get more of the goo out of here. Believe it or not, a lot of people, they go to the store and they buy these fish and stuff and they feel like these fish is actually clean, good enough for them to cook. And you still have to go over the fish to make sure. Especially you're gonna cook the fish with the head on it. And one thing I never do is cook a fish with the head on it. I just never, ever did that before. Now, I could be mistaken. I just don't remember ever cooking a fish with the freaking head on it. So since they do sell fish heads separately, I mean, you guys seen it in the video, they actually sell just the fish heads. You can actually go in the store and buy the fish head, which I thought was kind of <laughs> kind of weird. Like people actually will actually buy a fish head to just eat. Like I said earlier, I've been fishing my whole life and parts of the fish, I just don't eat, I throw away. And like when it comes to the fish head, I don't think I've ever ate a fish head before, but obviously they sell that fish head for a reason. So there's meat inside that fish head. So I actually did a little bit more cleaning to the fish before I started the camera again. So this is just like some of the stuff I'm doing. So I'm gonna show you what I meant by these cuts, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, this is a huge, thick fish. So I'm gonna go ahead and put some of these cuts right here. I'm gonna put cuts on both sides of the fish because this will actually help me make sure that this fish is cooked thoroughly all the way through. We're gonna put about three to four cuts on each side just to make sure. Because when you bake in a fish like this, you really don't have to flip it over as if you're frying pork chops or chicken or fish. You don't have to um, uh, flip it over because it's gonna cook evenly all the way through with the oven. Once it gets in the oven and the aluminum foil, it's on top of it, it's gonna seal everything up so it's gonna cook evenly all the way through. So that's pretty much it right there, guys. I'm just gonna rinse it off again. One more final rinse. Fish looks really good all the way through. And then the next step I'm gonna do is my seasonings. So 
as you guys see the cuts, you see how it is. I got the cuts on both sides of it to make sure we get all that nastiness out of there. And that's that right there. Okay guys, this part of the video, just a few minutes here, you won't be able to really see me, but some of the fish, as I was saying earlier, it doesn't fit all the way inside the pan. Um, but I'm gonna not cut the tail down at all. And I did look in the freezer and I did find some shrimps. Thank God I had the small shrimps. That way, as the fish gets halfway done, I can just open up the, the slices and put the shrimps inside there. The reason why I won't put the shrimps in right now because it's too soon for me to put the shrimps in. Most cases, shrimps are already pre-cooked when you buy them. These are definitely pre-cooked, so they don't need to really sit in the oven that long inside the fish. So right now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just take a little bit of my lemon pepper seasoning. I couldn't find a small one at the store, so since I use lemon pepper so much, I decided to go ahead and just grab one of the big lemon peppers. Oh, it's not even open. Okay, go ahead and open this up real quick. Sorry about that. I try to have everything kind of prepped and already open before I start the video. Make it a lot easier. So I'm just gonna take this lemon pepper. I'm not gonna season both sides of the fish. I'm gonna just season one side, but I'm gonna season the one side extremely, extremely good. And I'm actually gonna use oil, guys, versus using like uh, water for when I make meats like beef, ribs and stuff like that in the oven. We're gonna just use um, oil. I'm gonna use oil to help cook this fish in the oven. I wanna season it up really good, really good. I know this is like a lot of lemon pepper, but it's really not a lot of lemon pepper. Season the head, eyeballs and everything. And believe it or not, this is going to be my Sunday dinner. We got some regular table salt. We're definitely not going to use too much table salt. We're not going to use too much of that at all. Because we're not going to flip the fish over, which means the seasoning is going to sit on top of the fish the whole entire time. The lemon pepper already had black pepper in it, but we're still going to put some of that black pepper on there in a way. We got to make this look almost black, guys. There we go, just like that. It's not a whole lot to it. And there we have it. That is my fish seasoning right there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my oil, which I should have had it already out. And use my oil. I'm just gonna pour this in the pan as if I was making cornbread. Not a whole lot at all. Just enough to get the bottom of the pan nice and oily. Because again, we're not gonna use water. Just like that, that's it. Lift it up a little bit and get the oil up under it real good. It's really not a whole lot to it. And so this is good and oily. I've already got the oven again set. I might've told you guys, I got the oven set, preset to 350 right now. You guys might've heard it beep. I'm gonna push that down. And this is what the fish is gonna look like. So we're gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up real quick and get her in the oven for, we're gonna put it in for one hour and then come back and then check it. Ooh, my last pack of aluminum foil too. Whenever I go to the store, I always check my cabinets to make sure I don't forget to get something that I know that I'm running short on. I'm gonna wrap it up just like that. Another the piece. Put that on there. You wanna seal it up real good. Any meats that you put in the oven, whether it's fish, steak, pork chops, ribs, if you're baking it, you want to seal your pan up extremely tight because you got to remember the steam from the oven is what's going to actually cook the meat. I hope I'm saying that right. Yes. So that way, once this, once that oil starts steaming up, it's at the bottom of this pan. There's no room for it to escape. It hits the top of the pan, uh, tin foil and it goes right back down into the meat and cooks it all the way through. So we're gonna go ahead and set this in the oven, guys, and uh, I'll see you guys shortly. Okay, guys, in this part of the video right here, just so you know, 
I do, um, I've already got the fish in the oven. I just set it in the oven a few minutes ago. I said it, it is currently four o'clock p.m. on Sunday and I put the fish in the oven. I set the timer on the oven for one hour. Some of you might think, oh, that's a long time for a fish, but technically it's not because how thick the fish is. And so now what I'm gonna do is start to prep the shrimp. These are the sandbar cooked shrimp. It's like I said earlier, sorry for the brightness, the glare. If you guys buy shrimp, you can also buy the ones that's already pre-cooked. Normally when I go to the store, it all depends on if I'm making like a seafood boil or a seafood mukbang, or if I'm just making regular basic fish and shrimp, I would usually get the ones that's already cooked. So all I'm gonna do, I got a little plastic bowl. I'm gonna take a handful of these shrimp and actually put them inside this bowl and I'm gonna soak them in some water and let these shrimp just soak in the water. And then the only thing I'm gonna add to these shrimp because I put a lot of lemon pepper seasoning on the fish already. Um, I'm gonna add, I mean, I put seasonings on the fish already, guys. So I'm gonna add just a couple sprinkles of lemon pepper seasoning to these once they are um, unthawed. Also guys, like I've been getting like a lot of requests, like I've been telling people that I want to start back doing cooking videos a lot more, um, which I am starting back to do more cooking videos as well as doing other type of videos for you guys. But if you guys like, uh, I know some people have been sending me certain cooking videos that they want me to do. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like learning how to do, for me to learn how to do new cooking techniques and cooking new dishes is new for me. And it's a fear that I have that I'm gonna mess up. But I also know that when you are doing cooking videos and you're cooking something for the first time that you never cooked before, you're gonna be nervous. You're gonna mess up the first time. People always say there's no right and wrong way to do this and do that. But sometimes there is, especially when you're trying to teach people how to cook. And you're teaching people how to cook through your videos based off the knowledge that you already have stored in your memory. Um, so it's a lot of stuff like lasagna that I need to get over my fear of cooking. Stuff like spaghetti, I need to get over my, my uh, fear of cooking. Now, when I was in my old house, I did do a cooking video where I made homemade chili for the first time ever in my life. And the chili had actually came out perfect, man. Well, to me, it was perfect. But you guys know how that is. Like when I eat my own cooking, it's good, it's good. But eating my own cooking is not as good as eating someone else's cooking, if that makes sense. So if you guys have uh, like a cooking video, something really simple that you want me to try, um, y'all know I'm gonna make it happen. But this particular video right here was one that somebody did request. Somebody requested that I try the red snapper and put the shrimp in it and try something different. The last time I had made a red snapper, it was like a smaller one about this big. And I think it was the fish fillet snapper, like it was already filleted and cut up and stuff. So I believe this is my whole time, my first time actually making a whole red snapper. And like I said, the first one, I fried it. This one is a little bit different because I'm actually baking it. So, whoo, I'm kind of excited. I can't wait till it comes out the oven before I add the shrimp in. And I hope and pray that this fish comes out a whole lot better. Also the guys, people who commented on my earlier video of me going to the doctor uh, with the shingles. Uh, yes, I do have shingles. I was diagnosed with shingles. And it, you know, it doesn't itch, but it hurts like hell. I'm not gonna lie. It's painful, man, it's painful. So I went to the pharmacy today, CVS, that's in my area. And the pharmacy, the uh, CVS is actually open, but when I went to the drive-through part of the pharmacy, it actually closes at a, certain, uh, at a certain time on Sundays. So a lot of stuff do close early on Sunday. So I'm gonna have to wait until tomorrow to go up there and get my medication filled and start using that cream. They also gave me some numbing medicine in case that it starts to hurt real bad and stuff like that. So I appreciate all you who commented on that video earlier. But okay guys, this right here is after about 58 minutes in the oven. You guys know what I forgot to get? Oh my God, I'm kicking myself in the butt. I did not even get lemon. I should have got like lemon just to like garnish it to make it look more prettier. So this is like 58 minutes. You know, we'll just say one hour in the oven. So it's actually coming along very, very well. And as you guys who was probably concerned, like, oh my God, he used oil in the bottom of the pan. You see how that water mixed in with that oil and it's not sticky or anything. Let me make sure. I know I shouldn't use a plastic fork, but I'm gonna use it just to scoot it. It's not sticky or anything like, oh, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, no, I'm not. Okay, so it's not really sticky or anything. Um, 
It looks like it's coming along really good. I'm just gonna take my fork and stick it down inside the meat. As you guys can see, oh, look at that, look at that. Mmm, oh my God. Woo, I put the spices on that bad boy, I ain't gonna lie. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set this back in the oven with the shrimp on it. We have the shrimp right here in the sink. I've already got the lemon pepper seasoning on the shrimp. It's gonna take this and just kind of like slide those right down inside. If I can put like two shrimp per uh, cut. If not, I'll probably just lay the rest on top of the fish just to give it that beautiful look to it. Now I'm gonna just set these on top. I'm gonna set this back in the oven without the lid over it to let those shrimps go ahead and brown up. And most importantly, let the fish get the brown film to it. So that way it's all ready to go. Notice I'm not putting the fish inside of the juice. I'm putting the shrimps right on top of the fish. That way they'll go ahead and cook. Again, the fish is pretty much done guys. It really didn't take long for the fish to cook at all, but being that it's a thick fish, um, I definitely wanted to make sure that it's cooked thoroughly all the way through. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down, put this back in the oven. Again, we are at 350 on the oven. Temperature is 350. And our time right now is 516 p.m. So I'm gonna set it back in the oven and I'm gonna see you guys in about, uh, I know I should let the shrimp cook that long in the oven for 50 minutes because those are already, we're gonna do like a 20, 25 minute thing, guys. Then we'll take it out and we can have it all ready to eat. And this is gonna be our dinner. Well guys, the fish is out the oven. The shrimp is looking good. It's smelling good. And as you young people would say, well, y'all used to say years ago, not now today. But as y'all used to say years ago, the food is on fleek. It's on fleek. So let me let you see what it's looking like. Y'all see what my $37 meal is looking like for the day. Did you guys see the shrimp is nice and cooked. They were already pre-cooked. Um, before I bought them. Oh my God, you know what I just noticed? Look at the teeth. I don't want to get the camera too close to stuff, it's hot. Look at the teeth on that fish, man. Oh my God. So this is all ready to eat, guys. If you guys are interested in seeing the mukbang of this video, I will be dropping another part to this video either late this evening or sometime early tomorrow. But I have a feeling you guys actually may get the mukbang part of this video this evening. Um, I had I had received some really uh, awful news this morning. Uh, well, close to this afternoon when I was at the doctor office getting checked out. And, you know, it kind of broke my heart. So I'm gonna do an eating mukbang with this food right here in the next video, letting you guys know what happened. But I wanna say, man, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have any suggestions of something I could have did different with this fish, and I know one thing I forgot was the lemon. That is like so critical, man. The lemon would have really set this fish off, but I didn't get it, so I can't really cry with spilt milk. But comment down below for something you think that I should have did different on this fish right here, or even in the mukbang uh, part of this video, which should be coming again after this video man but i want to say thank you guys for watching all of you who joined this video today man i'm asking that you smash that like button on your way out the door man if you didn't like the video um i guess you can't smash the dislike button anymore but anyway i love you guys until next time i'm damian crier and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video gang